straight with no being affiliated, you know, with a gang, with a set, even a neighborhood crew. I get it. But man, don't be waiting, man, till you damn near half the hump and shit, man. Come on, man. Let's 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 stop doing that, man. I'm thinking that motherfucker's supposed to be thinking about retirement plans and shit. I'm thinking that motherfuckers, man, they supposed to already been on deck with this shit. They supposed to have their 401k and for they what they supposed to be already straight, but no. They ain't straight because the, the entirety of the time, I believe, as opposed to them mastering their craft, these individuals are online and they're watching rappers. They're, they're looking at the rapper lifestyle and for whatever reason, the rapper lifestyle, it, it, it appears fair seeming to them. Like that, that's the thing. They like, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna tell everybody else about this kind of stuff, but no, this is the lifestyle that I resonate with. And that's the conflict, that's the problem. That's why like these people that be talking about, they be giving readings and shit. They don't never do readings on they self. And if they were to do a reading on they self, you gotta ask why the reading for they self is minus all of the bullshit that they be telling everybody else with these fucking readings. And within the fucking readings, I'm, I have to ask like, do the cards not explain like who's the lyricist who should and who shouldn't be rapping? Like, did, did the cards not say that? Or is it that the cards are specifically for people that are getting the readings, but it's not about the reader? It's not about the performing artist, because that's all the fuck that it is. It's a performing art, just like rapping. It's a performing art. They perform it, right? These artists, they get on stage, make videos, show people the lifestyle. And of course, you know, people are able to resonate with that lifestyle. That's what it's about. Now, as far as these conscious guys, you would have thought to these conscious guys that they would have resonated with a life that had more to do with knowledge-centric, wisdom-centric, understanding-centric things, as opposed to just the braggadocio. As opposed to, oh, oh, I'm in the stew. Oh, it's about to go down. I'm going to the studio. Man, you know how many dudes I done heard say go to the studio? D during the time I done been on this earth, Man, I done probably been to a studio twice. It got mad rap, I got mad jams. I, I got jams you ain't never heard before. Fire ass shit. That's the shit that be fucking with me because I'm like, these dudes be out here making it seem like that they really doing some motherfucking shit. You're not doing nothing. And you got a question why and how so quickly they're able to get rap songs produced, you know, they use the computer, go in there with the, some Fruity Loops, Acid Jack, they go there and make these beats and stuff and then lay the lyrics like it ain't nothing. If these guys allegedly have an abundance of knowledge, why aren't these guys laying down the foundation to these books? Why aren't they educating the people? I thought that's what it was about. The majority of these men for years have had people to connect with them only because of their knowledge or what appeared to be knowledge. Things that they heard, possibly they felt like impacted them so much to the point that they wanted to be a part of something. And this is what I see with these, you know, these conscious dudes. Like they want to be a part of the game. They want to be a part of the rap game. Minus the trapping, minus the packing guns, minus spending 24 hours a day and a goddamn bando and eating chicken every day of the week and buying brand new tennis shoes and brand new white t-shirts and stuff. That's pretty much you know, the lifestyle. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the goddamn truth. Don't make a fuck if you eat jerk chicken or goddamn KFC chicken. It is what it is. And they've stereotyped us like this for years. You know, that's why you always know what to look for. First thing, you hear a rapper, you think, gold teeth that, or gold chain. Anything that, you know, exemplifies who the fuck Mr. T is. All rappers took on that image from Slick Rick all the way to motherfucking Ghostface Killer with the dinner plate motherfucking medallion and shit on the, on the, on the jewel studded ass necklace and shit. Hey, it is what it is. So everybody done took something from somebody. 
there is no original author. There, there is no originator when it comes to this, okay? But it just so happened that these guys within the conscious community ain't none of these motherfuckers original. Trust and believe me, because these motherfuckers don't want to do nothing but be fucking rappers. So let's get into this shit, man. I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna draw it out no more. Let's get into this shit, man. Let's do a whole live uh, review you know, of the conscious community, stuff that I found, songs I've heard, and we definitely will review all of them because they are subject to review, okay? So let's go, man. You're the only power.